everybody. This is Dave Nasty over here at Next Level. I'm excited about this lesson because I'm back to my distorted roots. I'm back to my distorted roots, people. We're touching the metal riffs. Another inspired by lesson today. Uh, one of my all-time favorite type of styles. And we're detuned, working out of a traditional standard tuning. So that means my low E string is a D. And we're going to outline the pentatonic scale in a detuned concept. That's really all we're gonna do. We're gonna throw in some cool power chords in uh, this sound, and we're just gonna make this work for us, not against us. That's the goal. Everybody, oh. this is your moment of zen. Click on that link below. If, do you see it down there in that text box? You click on that link that you see in that text box, you will get a free video that is not available on YouTube, a coinciding ebook free that is not available on YouTube, and it's great. You know, you got all these lessons here, but let's go for more. All you got to do is click on that link and you get a great ebook, free, a lesson, free, not available on YouTube. And that's all you got to do is just click on that link. Okay, so let's talk about the shapes of pentatonic that are going to be used. If you're unfamiliar at all with the forms of pentatonic, please refer to some of the other videos on the site. I just kind of want to dive right in today, talk about the coolness of the riffs and the style, but we know course there's a ton of good information on the site about all that stuff so what I'm gonna do is play the low strings of form 3 of your pentatonic so if I was in uh, regular standard tuning and my low string was in E I would be starting here on my third fret and that would actually put me I'm gonna turn my volume down just because I'm mimicking this that would be third fret fifth fret and then I would finish out <laughs> But I'm detuned, so that's going to make this go up to 5 and 7. And that, tune myself a little bit, that is going to keep us doing some really cool, heavy, bluesy, real dirty, nasty riffs in this tuning. And that's what we want to think about with this riff. So the next shape that I'm going to outline is this. Okay, so let me show you the riff at the top of the video. Alright, so what I'm doing there, I'm just going to show you the riff straight out. We have... Really cool, we've got the use of that pentatonic shape in conjunction with this one, my pinky notes being grabbed with my middle finger. Very slow. Now my thinking behind this was, you know, we've got the low E string ringing. It's tuned down to a D, of course. So that D is going to resolve with the D that is fretted here on the fifth fret. Outlining these shapes, creating a cool riff that we could solo around in the style of some of these favorite metal players. Oh yeah, we like the nastiness of the pinch. So, pinch harmonic fans. Let's talk about that really quick. I'm gonna pivot my body this way. It's a combination of the pick and the thumb. Now that's always easier said than done and I totally realize that. What's going on here is right at this part, I'm hitting and my thumb on this side of it, on the outside part of my thumb, is hitting with the pick at the same time. So right as that pick crosses, I can get the flesh of my thumb on there right at the same time. I think it's easier if I bend my knuckle to do this. I think that's what makes it easier for me. My pick's at more of an angle, therefore it crosses less flat and I can achieve this. The tension of the guitar is tighter here, it's easier here than here. It changes as you go across. So those are things to think about too, depending upon the desired effect. Now I'm going to turn back this way. We're going to use these power chords. Really, really easy. We're going to slide them. So, 
switch that pinch harmonic from this note, which is a C in standard tuning, to what would be our G in a D tuning. Now, these real nasty pinch harmonics on low strings sound best if you get the pitch, then manipulate the string afterwards. If you try to wiggle that sucker or put vibrato on it before you hit the pinch, it ain't gonna happen for you. Sorry, just, just reality check. It's just tough. So we wanna hear it, then move it. Whatever, we get all kinds of different fun noises out of them and all should, you know, slightly make your eyes roll back in your head a little bit. These riffs are designed to melt your face. Maybe not mine, but I'm just saying the concept. We're thinking concept. So what we got? All right, classic kind of thing that we would hear all the time is this harmonic raking with an immediate downstroke into a chord. So when I'm hitting my natural harmonics off the fifth fret in an upstroked rake, I'm coming right down on that chord. That is a definite may I help you rhythm in any music store. So try it out at home and write back and tell me if it works for you. Getting that nice effect. You can do that anywhere. Into the first finger. And it always sounds cool when you put that in there. This is D minor. D minor pentatonic as well, right? That's gonna function here too. Let's do one classic style lick that you might hear in this uh, genre of music, right? One of them is going to be just this. Really nice lick. Okay, so we have... Right. So, what is our mission statement from this video? We need distortion in our life sometimes to make ourselves feel good. This kind of music is heavy. That makes me feel good. This inspired by lesson is awesome. A lot of people have done it. We want to make it our own. That's pretty important. We don't want to sound like these people. We want to take it and use it for our own benefit. We know that detuned playing needs to be moved around. We need to know how pentatonic sits in that position. We need to know how your diatonic scales sit in that position so we can come up with riffs. I know I made a video about that too, so you might want to check that out. But I'm just saying, this is a great Inspired By lesson. I hope you dug it. Go to the website, please, and check it out. I'm going to add a wah-wah to this riff at the end just to see what that sounds like. Hopefully it sounds all right. Thank you so much. I hope you dug the lesson, and I'll check you next time. Cool, cool, cool.